Chef, yes. tell us what you're going to do for us now. Now, uh, Suzanne, thank you so much. To, be for being me. your sous chef, right, today? <laughs> yes, I accept. Yes, um, Madam Esso will pick up the tab after this. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, today we'll be making ceviche with leche de tigre, one of my favorite dishes that I picked up when I was uh, on holiday in Lima, Peru. <laughs> now, the leche de tigre basically translates to tiger's milk. And this, the switch behind it is that they get to use uh, lemon, but I will be using yuzu lime, which is a Japanese flavored lime and everything. And then I'll be using uh, this fish stock in there that I get to slow cook the seabus bones for four, four hours at a temperature of 70 degrees. For the listeners back at home, the fish that I picked today was uh, sea bass. Okay. And the reason why I like it is that it flakes out very nicely. Mm -hmm. Then you have uh, the leche le tigre. Now the leche le tigre is a mix of the uh, fish broth. How much do you want me to put in there, chef? Uh, two spoonfuls. Okay, I, I am to now- drench in. I need it to I'm, soak in nicely. Got it. Now I'm pouring in, mm -hmm. ever so delicately, two tablespoons of this Inside. tiger's milk. And, and I'm give, stirring. Give it a good mix. Yes. And uh, another thing is it depends on your flavor palette and everything. Thing, everything you can be able to add double it up if you like it spicy because I was coming I didn't know how, how much spice anyone can handle <laughs> sure I was about to put a whole spoonful of ricotta <laughs> now you need to put some julienne of onions okay yeah so some nice um, thinly spi thinly sliced onions yeah. and you've got a, a herb in there is that parsley that I see no, that's fresh cilantro that's fresh cilantro okay yeah, why cilantro cups. and not parsley um for me it has flavor okay. and also for the little tigre what I use is that instead people need to understand this that the cilantro the leaves they don't have that much flavor they don't pack a punch but if you go for the stems that's the beauty behind it you need to understand the Japanese uh, has a very rich heritage in Peru that has to be fused in so you have katukiro okay. that's a Japanese cornstarch that you get to use one of it has just been drenched in tempura then the other one has been dehydrated overnight so one is very crunchy the other one is just a bit soft so I'm, I am now placing a few cubes of your gorgeous sweet potato that you have roasted with a little bit of olive oil yeah. in the oven that anybody can do at home. It's Anyone can be able to do it at home, yeah. And then you're going to add a little bit of crunch by adding in the tempura corn. The tempura corn goes in? The one that's been dehydrated. So would you, I think it'll be nice to put it right on, on top. top of the fish. Yes, yes it will be. Exactly. We posted the recipe up online as well, so check that out on the Dubai Today post at dubai1038.com. Now you need to get a nice slice of lime. Yes. Put it on the side. Put it on the side. And I okay. believe whoever's listening from home, you can join in and let's dig um, in. Check it out for yourself and try it at home. Or indeed, if you want to get that uh, that lesson, then uh, go to Culinary Boutique for the and classes. I like a lesson. I know. It should have been me there. <laughs> yes, it should have been Helen. It's looking you beautiful, like Suzanne. As you pass oh, that round the table, we will sample it and give the verdict. Um, but before we do that...